But <coughs> this type of hose and this type of Bunsen burner has a screw assembly like so. If you go righty tighty and screw it all the way down, what will happen is you'll see no open space there. We want to open it up a little tiny bit. So start with it all the way down, open it up a couple of turns. We'll try the same process, turning the gas parallel to the nozzle and we give it a spark and there we are. In order to make this flame a little bit hotter, we're going to simply screw this entire portion so more air can get in. There's a tiny small space when you look at it through there and you can see that small space in lab. And we'll start to hear that noise, it's a hotter flame. You might have also a third type called a meeker burner. These are also very, very hot. This, the small portion here, okay, uh, we always try to go ahead and close it so that we can't see through there at all to start the flame, turn the gas on, get a Bunsen burner going. <clears throat> it's easiest to start it there and then we can adjust the bottom portion a little bit in order to go ahead and open up that little portion at the end. You might see an inner cone. That inner cone is a very, very hot flame. And finally, for our last type of Bunsen burner, again, the hose type does not really matter. As long as the hose doesn't have any holes or anything else, it has a little valve here on the bottom. Righty tidy, lefty loosey. So this spot on the very bottom, that will cut off the flow of our gas. We're gonna go ahead, turn it all the way righty tidy, and then lefty loosey, two or three turns. And that will allow the gas to flow from here and not be stopped at this point. So uh, we've turned it a few times. There's also uh, a spot to rotate it on the top. We're gonna screw it all the way down on the top and then go one, two, three turns, allowing a little bit of air to go ahead and come in through the top. Trying it again, turning the gas on. And it takes a couple of times. If the gas does not ignite in the first three or four tries, we turn the gas off and we try it again. Again, we can adjust this here. We can make an adjustment here to allow for more air to come in and for the flames to get hotter. We can also make an adjustment here. I try not to make the adjustments here. I'll make the adjustments over by the handle. Uh, but you can make some small adjustments on this bottom portion. So there are different kinds of Bunsen burners, but they all work on the same principles of combustion.